But right now we need to get to some dramatic new details in a high speed chase we first told you about at six. A woman is in the hospital fighting for her life tonight after her car is hit by a man trying to get away from police. The pursuit came to an end here at the intersection of Midlothian Turnpike and West Broad Rock Road. Brittany McDonald is just back from that scene. And Brittany, what charges does that suspect face? Well, police are still putting that list together, Sabrina, because right now the suspect himself is in the hospital after flipping his car. It all happened in a matter of minutes, and now a woman is left seriously hurt. I, could, I seen him when it was in the air. He was up in the air like 35 feet. Alan Levy was on Midlothian Turnpike when he saw a major crash happen right before his eyes. They had to be running at probably over 100 to here to get it up, get that car up that high. Looks like something you see on TV. Richmond police initially stopped the SUV on 37th and Larchmont at about 5:20 Tuesday night for reckless driving, but the driver took off down Midlothian Turnpike, throwing a weapon out of the car along the way. He was skidding all over the place. The suspect sideswiped several vehicles like this one while he was trying to get away from police, but he wouldn't make it very far, crashing his SUV just a few blocks away. I just was, I just was stunned and shocked at first. Veronica Worrell was sitting at a stoplight when the suspect sideswiped her car. Side door and the mirror is gone, but um, just thank God I'm still alive. But another woman in the suspect's path wasn't so lucky. He smashed into her vehicle before rolling over and crashing himself. We're only talking three minutes between traffic stop. A minute later, the pursuit occurred. Two minutes after that, the accident occurred. Even after flipping his car, the suspect still tried to get away, but was quickly arrested. The woman in the car that he hit is now fighting for her life. This lady here. She was in rough shape. Libby says he rushed over to the woman's vehicle and tried to help. There's a guy in the house, him and I were talking to her, trying to keep her uh, aware of what's going on. I hope she survives because she was unconscious when he took her out of there. We'll keep you posted on that victim's condition and alert you the moment we learn any new information about the suspect. For now on your side, Brittany McDonald, NBC 12.